Hey! Oh my god, there's someone sat in that car, they're watching me. I just got dropped off at the train station and I'm getting ready to go to London today to get my lip repierced. I have a little lump there still, but when I got it pierced um, almost a year ago, it was off centre. So I'm hoping that because it won't go through the same hole, I'm hoping I can still have it done. I'm gonna. <laughs> my insecurity is coming up, I need lipstick. But yeah, so I'm off to the circle in Soho. So I have to get the train to Liverpool Street, London, and then the underground to Oxford Circus. And then after that, I'm heading to Camden to meet the beautiful Lauren Horror. Um, and then I think we're going to the last Tuesday Society, which is like an alchemy bar. And it's somewhere that I've wanted to go for so long and just never got a chance to. So she's taking me there, so excited. It's really cold. Um, so I'm gonna run into the train station over there now and I'll talk to you guys at some point. <laughs> Let's go. People are watching me. I hate people watching me vlog. Don't you know who I think I am? Let's go. <laughs> had a wee and I've just walked past a Costa. I much prefer Costa to Starbucks. Oh, where's Nero when I need it? Oh, I'm so bloated. I want my period. Felt like you needed to know that. So does anyone else get really nervous when you hear that at the train station and you look a bit odd? Like, oh, if you see anything odd, report it to transport staff. And you know, you just know somewhere there's a group of young boys that are like, <laughs> I see something look odd. <laughs> this is awful, Starbucks. You, you just know, vile. And it was four pound for a hot chocolate. Travel, ridiculous. We're in a cost of living, Starbucks, cause he lives. Sort it out. So I'm gonna take a little walk down the train tracks. Not on the train tracks. I'm not at that point in my life just yet. Um, I've got about 20 minutes for my train. So I'm gonna go and have a little sit down, listen to my music. Ipswich train station, the female zebra spots another female zebra, but the fight for dominance is about to ensue. I really wish I'd have got some food because I've got nothing to do and my eye keeps watering because it's so cold and um, this has turned to real. It's not makeup anymore. It, well, it is makeup, but it's all... It ruins the aesthetic when I'm walking around crying. <laughs> right, back to not eating any food. Hello, I'm now in London. I don't know if you can hear me. The train was not that busy and a man sat next to me and he sat on my coat and then when the train pulled in and I was putting my coat on, he like helped me put my coat on and I was just like, thanks, don't touch me. So yeah, but I'm at Liverpool Street now. Let me turn my camera. I've got to get the tube, which scares me. Wish me luck. Ah, I hope it can be done. I'm going to go out a little cat bum hole. Walking through the station, talking about cat bum holes. You never get quite as scared as you do other people.
made it. I'm pretty sure this is Liberties from uh, Cruella, the film, Emma Stone. Right, so I'm in London. I made it out the tube underground safely. Underground stresses me out so much because I, I, I've come to London so many times and I still don't know where to get off. Which way to, like, I actually got off at the right exit today. I knew it wasn't the way that I went out last time, so that was progress. And I exited the tube station and ended up near a phone box that I know is the right way. So it's down this road. It's a long, just a, it's basically an L shape from exit six at Oxford station, Oxford Circus. So should we have a little chat while I walk? My eyes are watering. <gasps> At least wait till I get pierced before you start crying. So today is the 6th, I want to say 6th, might be 5th lip piercing I have had in one year. So I started last January off with a horizontal labrette. Had that for years, I took it out because it was damaging my teeth. I got two vertical labrette piercings and I caught one of them on my wig when I was headbanging drunk ripped it took it out so i replaced that with a single vertical what are we up to that's four um and i had that till november december time and then i got a massive irritation bump on it out of the blue so i took that out at the beginning of december and then that's where we are now oh no some more and then when i took that out i was like i'm naked i need something in my face so i went and got and i didn't tell any of you i only told my patrons i went and got two more sweat bands two more vertical lip piercings so i had two of these done again i had them again this is my angle use your right hand um and i had them got them done on a thursday took them out on a sunday i got massive irritation bumps on them after just a few days um i'm pretty sure it's down to the jewelry that the piercer uses my skin just does not like it where am i oh yeah it's right there um yeah so i took them out and i am back at my favorite piercers the one i should never have cheated on with the doubles and hopefully i'm gonna get it done again the only thing i'm worried about is crossing this road oh my god london roads scare me i'm already crying come on emily warm it up and i'm really early as well i'm like 45 minutes early so i might run to s i've had a starbucks where's a nero around here so I'm hoping she can do it again. I'm here to see Rihanna at the circle. I'm here now, but um, they can't see me here because I'm, I'm very early. And um, yeah, these are all my old lip piercing scars. And this hemorrhoid, that's from the vertical. But when I got it done, oh, saliva line. When I got it done, it wasn't in the middle because I had lip scar tissue right in the middle. So it couldn't be in the middle. It had to be off center. But basically, my scar tissue has moved. Again, you can see that uh, my lips are so dry. It's there. So that was in the middle, and it's now moved. So hopefully, I can get this piercing done right in the middle. It'll avoid that that emeroid, and we'll be all right. Um, I might go and find a coffee shop because I am really early, and my arm is killing me. Right, let's Google Maps. Let's find a drink. Calm me nerves. Stick some vodka in it. Oh my, oh, my skin. My eye. Oh, this is no longer makeup. It's actual tears. The nearest Nero is a mile away. So, oh, I found a little cute coffee shop. Let's go in here. Okay, here come the rants. This was three pound something. I haven't tried it yet to be fair, but he didn't give me a, a lid either. And then I grabbed a lid politely and the lady behind me went, Ugh. do London people not have lids? Bro, come on. That's literally hot water. That is literally hot water. Um, oh, someone's filming me. Let's take a picture of him. So I, Oh, they had something called violet lemonade in there. I really wanted to try it, but it sounded disgusting. But I did take a picture because Violet gets very excited when she sees her name on things. Weirdo. 
although I do too. If I see something with Emily, I'm like, Ooh! <laughs> so studio's just here. I've got about 40 minutes. I'm gonna go and uh, like ponder around it, do some filming, see if they'll let me in early to sit down. Cause I'm guessing it'll be warmer in there than it is out here. And they have the coolest Gene Wilder art up there. I will show you because it's my favorite. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna see if they'll let me in. Oh my God, they're closed. Oh, okay, let's uh, let's sit on the step then. Oh my God, I really am early. Ooh. Oh, now I've got to drink my awful hot chocolate because it's the only thing keeping me warm. Right, oh look, everyone's at work. All the people in their offices chilling with me gross hot chocolate. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna put my music back on and carry on playing some phone games. I must look even more pathetic than usual just hanging out at a tattoo studio like, let me in, let me in. I'm bored, I've got half an hour and my hot chocolate shit. This is what I get for being early. I'm always early. If you ever invite me anywhere, I will be at least half an hour early. It's my toxic trait. <sighs> okay, I have 15 I have 15 minutes till they open, so I'm gonna try the door. Oh, I can't carry everything. So dramatic. Okay. Oh, piercing bookings. If you wish to book in for a piercing. <gasps> oh my gosh, how cool is that? You can just scan it. No more of this human contact. You can just walk past and zap. Oh, now it's cold and it's even grosser. Right, what? I'm gonna go risk it for a biscuit. Hey, Jean, let's spin you around. Awesome front door. You on camera. You on candy camera. Let's go, let's go. <gasps> so cold. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, is it? Watching all your good times on my timeline, unfollow. And every pill I have to push down Like the combos Makes me hollow don't, 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 don't. don't tell me girls just wanna have fun When all I wanna do is cut and run I'll take a sharp knife To your good life Cause it's shallow Take a shot on three We'll cry a symphony Till the herd runs free Don't need no sympathy no apologies, you can confide in me So glad to have a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm done. I'm a bit swollen already. It feels like I never have been without it. I've got a cross. So I've been told to go to a different tube station. I was going to go back to Oxford Circus, but then I have to get two tubes to get to Camden to meet my friend Lauren. But Rihanna, who pierced me, he told me to go this way to Tottenham Court Road and get the tube from there because it's only one. No, that's the little pizza place that somewhere there. 
that when I got my nose pierced for the first time with Moose and Macabre London podcast, that's where we went. I kind of know where I am. <gasps> Fanta. Oh my God, right? Fanta sign. I learned the other day that Fanta, Fanta was invented by the Nazis. And this is true. And I cannot in good conscience drink another Fanta for the rest of my life. Oh, what a cool shop there. <gasps> Is that an American sweet shop? So, did you all see the whole American sweet shops are money laundering things? Right, I need to get my map open on my phone so I know where to go. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, it's so good! So walking down Oxford Street, I've just counted about 20 of these baggage tourist shops. I think they've taken over the, the American sweet shops. The money lord. Get the northern line to Camden. My lip is throbbing. <gasps> it's already swollen. Oh, I look like I've got lip fillers. Now I need lip fillers. Boom. Boom. So I am here, I'm charging my phone and my wire is keeping my phone tagged to my bag. So Electric Ballroom is just over there, that's where I'm meeting Lauren. I am swollen already. Um, I can see Huggy Wuggies there. I'm on a mission just there, where, there, there, my hand's going backwards. Um, I need to find this blue Huggy Wuggy toy called Baby Long Legs, Dad, yeah, Baby, I don't know. My daughter is obsessed with it and I've seen them online but they're really expensive and I know they're like cheaper here. So I'm going to have a quick wander around to try and find her one and then meet Lauren probably around the corner. My eyes are watering. Oh my god, catch that tear. Tears of a clown. <sighs> I'm off to find a Huggy Wuggy. It's not Huggy Wuggy, it's Baby Long Legs. Get it right as my daughter would say. <laughs> like I love alternative shops but this one is horrible. They are horrible, don't ever go in there. So this used to all be little market stalls and little tents. It was so cool. Now it's just hipster smoothie shops. You used to be cool, man. What happened? There's a giant green one, but it's not what. But what the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have a green one, but that's not the one she wants. This is what she wants. <gasps> They've got so many. Oh my God, Violet would go insane. Are they the same? I don't know which one it is. She's got like all of these. This is what Violet's bedroom looks like. Okay, I'm gonna see how much this one is. Brilliant, thank you so much. Thank you very much, love. Have thank a nice you. Day. Bye -bye. This is why I love Camden. They tried to charge me 15 pounds and I went, nah, it's 10 up the road, which it is, but they didn't have the one I wanted. But um, he went, oh, fine, 10 pounds. <laughs> yes, well done. They're, they're about 15 quid online. And um, I don't think they're worth that, but a tenner will keep Violet happy. Right, let's go meet Lauren. So, I found a Lauren, and we've come to Web Spoons, because I'm a spoons bitch. It's just started raining as well. I think we're gonna get some food. Miss having lipstick on, my lips are so freaking dry. Um, yeah, food and enjoy the Camden scenery. You can see it out there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cheers, my dear. Oh my god, they look so fancy. Just a shot of boobs, chips, and drink. <laughs> Chips, burger, halloumi burger, so good. Consumed. Uh, oh, is it dark? Is that, that's a goose. Is it a goose or a duck? That's a goose. I'd be rubbish at duck, duck, goose. So I think we're gonna have a little wander around 
Camden. No, they do have teeth in their tongues. They do. My it's dad terrifying. has them. And my dad has teeth. My, in his <laughs> my dad has geese, and they hiss, and they're they're okay. actually really aggressive. They are. They're terrifying. But they're pretty. They are really. Pretty. I like swans. It's illegal. To, well, I mean, it's illegal to kill any animal, but it's illegal, illegal to kill a swan. They belong to the king now. That's gross. Yeah, so come with us for a little wander around. But something going on up there. Alfred Hitchcock is here. <laughs> oh, there's no punks on the bridge today. Um, this is your no nonsense on the bridge. No on the bridge. This, this is your, however, this is your Boo Camden vlog. I forgot what I was going to say. Just stay away from them weirdos. <laughs> Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make Right, we've had a nice little walk around Just had a Christian church lady tell us we need Jesus um, I think we're gonna, it started raining, it's pouring, so we're gonna go to the last two riverside and go look at Kylie Minogue's shit in a jar, so come with us. <laughs> I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face So, we're in Bethnal Green I've got a, I start every clip off with so I've got stuff in it So <laughs> We're in Bethnal Green we are going to find <gasps> the last Tuesday Society to look at all the random weird sh So hot on the tube, I'll take my coat off. Now it's freezing cold. Now it's freezing! <laughs> Good old British weather. <laughs> Sorry people, I'm not filming you, I'm filming the dog. <laughs> Lauren knew where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my last Tuesday Society vlog thingy. This museum is one of my new favourite places to visit in London ever. I thought a voiceover over this part would do the vlog a little bit more justice because it was so dark in there my camera just couldn't pick up all the weird and wonderful things so Here's my annoying voice to tell you about all those weird and wonderful things. The upstairs part where the bar was was so dark. My eyes were just like someone had thrown donuts at my head. The upstairs had memorabilia, taxidermy, and a lot of random interesting oddities. Drinks were about £10 each, and I had a rum cocktail. I think it had absinthe and pineapple in it, and I don't know what was in it, but it was damn good. And Lauren had, I think, a gin cocktail. Again, it was so damn good. The venue itself is 
tiny. It's so small, but you can tell it definitely costs about 10 grand a month rent because it's London, baby. It was so small, but jam packed and definitely the kind of place you need to go to more than once to see everything. The museum part was downstairs and it was about six pounds to get in, which I thought was very cheap for London. I expect everything in London to just be over exaggerated and you know cost a million pa million pounds of go but uh no six quid i was quite happy with that you can also hire out the tables in the museum downstairs for parties and venues and one of the tables has a human skeleton in it so you can just have drinks with your friends with an uninvited guest Although technically they'll be invited if you book the table. Yeah, but there was also a taxidermy panther and a taxidermy lion that you can share your drinks with. Be aware that the museum downstairs is only accessible via a very narrow spiral staircase. And I did slip just a tiny bit. So be very careful of that. Definitely almost died. But if I'd have died, I'm pretty sure I would have been put in the museum, so win win it was jam packed full and i mean fuller than my face on easter full of taxidermy they had celebrity poo real mermaids like oh in the old days where they where they sell a tape i was gonna say where they sewed monkeys to fish and called them mermaids they had real ones of them human body parts oddities there was baby crabs skeletons sword fighting on a giant crab there was a mummified sphinx cat there was so much variety from the really morbid of the taxidermied skeleton animals in odd poses to david bowie's biscuit crumbs there was even a cake a life-size cake of pamela anderson down there it was just incredible to see and so interesting there was virgin soap um porn for new mums there was just so much and I loved every second of being down there. It is very small, so if you do suffer from claustrophobia, this may not be the place for you. It was like Ikea, there's only one way to go around it, and loved it. The next time you're in London, I really, really recommend you go and check it out, um, especially because it was only six quid. Bargain. Right, that's it. It's now five o'clock, half five-ish. Just walking back from the bar to the train station. I'm gonna get my train home. I am flapjacked. So tired. That museum was so freaking interesting. Robert Russell Brand's pubes, Russell Crowe's wee, um, Kylie Minogue and Amy Winehouse's poo, apparently. It was a really good little museum and it was really cheap as well. So I'm gonna put my phone away because it's London. I don't really wanna get mobbed. Huge thank you to Lauren for showing me around for the day. It's a really nice day and it's nice to just because I have anxiety, I don't go places on my own, so it was really nice to come out on my own and, and do this. And I really appreciate her sharing me around. It was a really good day. I'll be back up soon, hopefully for a night out. But thank you for watching my vlog. I will see you guys very soon for more adventures. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself. And most of all, stay safe, because it's only half past five and London is scary. And stay weird. Oh, nearly fall over. <laughs>